from this exactly we can uh, go ahead with this uh, python client uh, documentation okay we can we should follow this stuff because this is a newer this is a older one which was which i was referring that's why i'm not getting that okay you can save this one version 3 this is version 3 okay so that's why i'm not getting so as you can see uh you know we can make use of these things so you know some variations are there otherwise each and everything is the same okay so first of all we will go this ltp is there okay so in this as you can see um, quote is there you can go and ohlc is there so first of all i will go with the quote and then come with the ohlc then at the end ltp which in which i'm going to make use of it okay so in this i just uh, break it out i'm no need of this one so i will get rid of this one okay and, uh, maybe i'll use that one so next i'm going to talk about this uh, you know code then i will say kai dot code and uh, i should first of all i will refer that if i am saying about those code how exactly i will set this one okay so what i need is like trading symbol exchange okay i can make use of this uh, list of instruments also okay so instruments if i am giving this uh, okay so i what i need is like uh, nsc and uh, trading symbol then exchange okay instrument which i am talking about so i am going to make use of these things i am going to show you right away that uh, you know how i am getting calling okay then we will exactly uh, you know talk about this so straight away we should refer this you know infosys so in this code exactly uh, i'll get to know so many things about this code okay so basically they have been referred this code so exactly you will get overall picture of this one then they have been distributed to ohlc then exactly they have been distributed to uh, this uh, um you know uh ltp so exactly i'm just going to show you so just i just print away some more stuff i will say about this uh, infosys okay so as you can see infosys instrument token time stamp exactly time stamp the last price what is the average price last quantity and close then exactly volume i am getting buy quantity what is the sell quantity okay and then ohlc is there okay so 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 many uh, stuffs where exactly we will see all those stuffs in exactly web socket only the ohlc will be the like you know uh, what i say let will be fixed uh, there will be no candles data here exactly but in web socket we can easily on 5 seconds variations we can exactly see this and rest of the things you can as you can see like you know whatever change we will get all those you can see exactly from this stuff so exactly we will getting a quote all those and you can make us of all those things so exactly as you see this is the instrument token and then you can see infosys now what i'm going to talk about this is o h l c it will be the same for us okay only will be like sub thing okay so it will like wanna wanna show this uh, last price instrument token and o h l c that's it nothing else and then next what i'm going to talk about is l t p so i will if i'll say that l t p okay then i get to know about this nsc infosys okay so this is the last price which i am exactly getting and then instrument token so this is the better so right now what I forum so this is exactly documentation uh documentation is there and if i say about this card dot trade okay so this is this is a changes documentation they have been mentioned obeyed everything round up they have they have been given very good things so what are the changes they have been given like you know web web socket streaming api trade time stamp they have given tick time stamp open interest open interest and high and low all they have they have given real time order post back and messages given over the web socket 
how you can exactly subscribe to a, in a web socket connection itself then you know uh, code like you know you can say about like 500 instruments you can place it here okay uh, so exactly in code which we have been mentioned uh, you know previously kai dot code you can find 500 instruments you can call and then ohrc ltp you can call at least 1000 instruments at a go okay and you have to mention that uh, nsc and then go with this all the stuff so let me check with this how exactly it performs so uh, you know first of all i will try to uh, you know just just take it out this one and uh, first of all i will just you know print out that stuff i will just say kai dot uh, in ltp i will say that nsc and then i will call about infosys and then exactly nsc nsc i should say about this uh, uh, you know yes bank should get printed out this stuff let me check okay so as you can see uh, you know i can call this last price of infosys then nsc as bank you can go with this and exactly in this sky dot code some at least uh, uh, you know uh, this ltp with this uh, infosys and s bank now what i'm going to do is like with the help of this kite instruments with only single uh, this trading symbol exactly i'm going to fetch all those details you know in the format style okay so let's see how exactly i can perform this ltp okay so i will say for instruments in kite dot instruments parentheses okay and i can call instruments but what i need from the instruments first of all i will say about that instruments equals um, kite dot instruments i need nsc exchange and i have to say about that you know same stuff then follow previous but i'm gonna print once again to understand okay those are called the data frame but what i need uh one by one so what i say what are the things i need uh, I need exchange so I will say instruments equal uh, not instruments equal instruments I will say about exchange okay and then uh, I will talk about uh, then i think i talk i should talk about this um, trading symbol okay so i will say trading symbol equals uh, from instruments should be like you know trading symbol so exactly i'm calling this step by step and then next uh, if I am saying about this, uh, you know, kite dot LTP, so I will say about LTP equals kite dot LTP, and in parentheses, first of all, I will say about it. First of all, I will say about that, uh, you know, exchange. I will say about exchange. Then, I will just, uh, you know, print in this manner. And so, this column, 
to format and uh, what I am formatting with change exchange comma trading symbol okay and then I will say about x equals 0 and here I am gonna I'll say x plus equals one. I'm doing some wrong. Okay, I have to close it here. And then I'll say x plus equals one. And then I will say print TP. Let's check this one whether it is gonna work or not. Let's see. Again, okay, what is this? Too many requests. Okay, I think I can get too many requests. So I should make use of this, uh, you know, time. I will say about this time, you know, and I should get. Uh, if I am printing this stuff, I'm asking this one. Then at least time dot. At least will be like you know, uh, two minutes, and I think I should uh, give an exception also uh, so accept exception as key and straight away I should get this uh, you know whatever the ex exception is there and it should print out okay and then the Okay, okay, okay. I think I have to do a little bit. I have to move this stuff over here. What is well and good? Let's see. So, two seconds sleep I have given. I think I can call this one. It is not. I'm sorry, I'm getting this error. Let's check. Okay, first thing, first exchange, I'm not getting anything. Okay. So as you can see, bank base last price. Okay, why I'm getting this null? And then exactly okay, two null. What the fuck is a two null? What I'm not getting anything in my null. So it's like three format or something. Mm -hmm. So what I get three null or something. Okay, then CDCL. You need to see CDCL. Huh? 